Why should you care about history? There are so many possible answers to that question and it will be different for each one of us. Some people are captivated by its difference and the fact that it provides us with a gateway into the past and to previous cultures. History provides us with a chance to explore what it means to be human. Can we understand our society, our very human existence, without understanding history? I'm an historian of the British Empire um, and one of the um, aspects of the empire that I'm particularly interested in is the history of the East India Company. The East India Company is a big story of globalisation and empire and trade but it also changed the way people engage with the wider world. So it changed, for example, what we eat, what we wear, even the words that we use. My second year module is on Charles II and what's fascinating about Charles is that he's a hugely modern man in many respects. For instance, this is the first time that we see women on the stage and we also get the rise of the coffee shop, something that is so popular in modern culture. At Southampton we cover a diverse range of history from the ancient to the modern world but also very wide choices in terms of geographical scope. I think as far as module choice goes there's a lot to choose from. Um, whenever I've had to choose I've struggled to choose which one I actually want to do because there is so many good options. And I, I really enjoy the diversity within the modules and the, and the amount of things you can engage with. But it's not just about the content of the modules, it's also about different approaches to history, different styles of teaching and learning. What we're doing as lecturers and researchers is providing students with access to ways of thinking about the past. Research is at the heart of all our teaching. In the classroom you get the latest ideas from an expert in the field. I think it's a key element of the history course of Southampton that it's a leading university in terms of research as well and, and often you see your lecturers' names on top reading lists for your modules or subjects. The research you're discussing in class is really relevant to the different debates that are going on now uh, surrounding particular issues. And that's a key part of history in my opinion because you're, you're debating and exchanging ideas which can then go into your future essays. So a degree in history doesn't give you a one-way ticket to a particular job. Very few university degrees do. But what it does give you is a passport that you can use again and again throughout the course of your career. Studying history is all about a passion for the past, but in addition to learning what people did in previous centuries, you also learn an immense range of skills that are useful to you in a variety of careers, in particular the ability to read selectively and to create an argument that's supported with evidence, and potentially most importantly, the possibility for original and flexible thinking. So in every lecture and seminar that you take part in, you'll be honing and developing your skills, the type of things that employers really look for in prospective candidates today. We're passionate about our subject here at Southampton and we'd really like to work with people who share that passion, people who are interested in the past of course, but also people who understand why it matters to understand history. So join us at Southampton and share in our curiosity about the past.